With new alien invasion updates seeming to be happening right now in Season 7, I hope that they change the map pretty drastically. Because I feel like we've been playing the same map for 7 seasons. This is essentially an overlap of Season 1 in comparison to the current Season 7. Now you can see that there is a few changes in particular at the top left. They added Coral Castle. The center has changed a little bit. They've added Stealthy Stronghold at the top two. Then they've added some minor little spots on the map and obviously changed Corny around too. Now compare this to overlapping Chapter 1 Season 1 with Chapter 1 Season 7. Now you can see the massive differences in particular with the snow biome and obviously the sand biome aka the desert biome in the bottom right too. Massive map changes overall which hugely contributed to playing basically a different game. And this was before in season 8 where they ended up changing the top right corner as well to include the kind of forest with the volcano biome as well. And this changed the gameplay and the playstyle of this corner of the map hugely. So moving back to chapter two, let's dive a little bit deeper into what some of these changes have been over the course and why they felt so similar. Now the changes between season one to season two, you can see there was five additional changes. They added the shark, they also added the yacht, they added the grotto, they changed the mid map section to be authority or agency, and they also added the rig. Five new spots on the map, all changing drop spots, rotational paths, and overall, this map was still new at the time, so these new changes and additions were very, very welcomed, mainly because these were relatively minor changes that had a big impact. And another big impact was the next season, which was Chapter 2, Season 3, which completely demolished a huge proportion of the map by putting it under war. There were changes everywhere, including Fortilla and UPOY, Half of the top left had pretty much completely disappeared. A lot of the map had generally been rearranged, in particular where steamy stacks underneath to the south of it had this new little island, and there was a couple good spots around here too. This changed the flow of the game in a massive way. However, as the weeks went on, the water levels slowly started to rise until eventually we just saw the old same map that we were used to. This map did have the ruins, which ended up being Coral Castle, Fortilla and Rickety Rig is still in place, along with the yacht, which had moved straight to the north above Craggy Cliffs. Again, some good changes around the outside of the map, in particular with the whole new top left corner being the ruins, and included the addition now of Catty Corner, so another new POI. Overall, because the chapter was still relatively fresh at this time, I do think these map changes were still very, very positive. They were adding little spots around the map in terms of, you know, Catty Corner. They'd kept the Fortilla and the Rig, which were very, very good additions to the game, all pretty much positive at this time. However, I was a little bit disappointed this season, given they just completely scrapped the whole water idea that they had. And for a competitive, ended up being an FNCS, which was the solo season. This war was just completely gone. And again, it was basically a very similar map to the last two. Now, season four, whether you liked it or not, I think a lot of people have very fond memories of what people call the Stark season, where they changed a massive corner in the top right to have this huge new Stark Island area on it, which was really, really good. I think a lot of people appreciate this. I really like this map change. It changed the dynamic of the map in a massive way in this top right corner. But also, don't forget that they removed the majority of Fertilla this season and also the rig at the same time, which I felt was very, very unnecessary because these two POIs fit this bottom left corner of the map so, so well, and now they're just gone. Now, coming into Season 5, this is where we start to see more trends that occur. We see that large dark island just completely disappear, and now we're back to this new interesting sand area in the middle of the map. Now, the small remains of Fortilla are completely gone as well, back to what it was originally with a couple little houses down in these two areas. You're noticing a trend where they add new things to the map, but keep taking them away, which unfortunately creates this kind of stale sense to the map. Now, the middle of the map change with the sand area where you could sand tunnel was definitely refreshing. However, from a competitive standpoint, this middle of the map really didn't benefit too much because they added a good new storm surge position, which was on top of Colossal Colosseum. But the drop spot itself was very odd. The sand tunneling made storm surge tags through this area very, very difficult. You lagged a lot while going through here too. The return of Tilted was very, very cool. But again, it just felt kind of odd with the sand kind of covering half of it. And the rest of the map was basically the same. I think this was the first season where I was just kind of not very interested in the changes that was made to it overall. I think all of the water changes and the start changes in the previous season were very interesting. I just feel like the one in season five here just wasn't as appealing to me personally. But here's where the trends continue. They just remove it the next season and it's completely gone. 
similar to the Stark season in Chapter 2, Season 4, and then the Water season in Chapter 2, Season 3. They had these big changes to the map and then just undid them and replaced it with something else, leaving the majority of the map the same. This season, the Spire was now added to the center, and they did change quite a few POIs, changing Colossal Coliseum to Colossal Crops. The old Tilted changed to Bony Burbs, which is basically the same thing, just a bony version of it. And there's a few smaller areas around the map that added some loot, which I really, really liked. But unfortunately, this was Primal Season, which was just not that enjoyable, in my opinion. Okay, but Season 7 is going to drop. We're going to see some huge map. No, it's they just removed the Spire and the, and the orange bit. Now there's some purple stuff around the map. And then there's there's some dishes around there too, which are kind of they're kind of cool. There's some good loot, but yeah, no, the rest of the map's the same. So since chapter two, season one, here's the POIs that have not changed: steamy stacks, craggy cliffs, dirty docks. Well, it kind of went underwater in season three, but what you know, well, let's not count it. Retail row, lazy lake, misty meadows, slurpy, which is changing right now as I speak. And Sweaty Sands marginally changed during the water season as well, where it half became underwater, but basically it was the same thing. You know what else hasn't changed? The overall structure, the hills are nearly all exactly the same since Chapter 2 Season 1, with no real innovation and no real changes at all. Any of the cool changes that were put in, in say, Chapter 2 Season 3, 4, 5, or 6, have all just been reverted back to basically the exact same map that we're used to. I think a lot of us fell in love with the game because of these big new changes in chapter one that we saw over and over again. But come chapter two, I feel like we've just been playing on the same map for almost two years at this point. And as an analyst, I'd love to have some new strats in terms of rotations, in terms of storm surge positions, in terms of new POIs and potential drop spots for teams to be at. And I do hope that at least sometime soon we get some major map changes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Peace.